So, this is what it looks like. Catching a Did you get it? Did you get it? Oh! I still don't know. See, this is still what mine looks like. <laughs> like he hanging on me. Damn it. That's guys, guys. Let's see, let's see. I got... I finally got Squirtle! Oh, yes! Point. Yes! I don't know if my second one. Yes. Let's see. Let's check if I got the other one. <sighs> Did I get him? Did I get him? No, I didn't get the first one. It's okay. God you got damn. a new one. Alright. There's more. I hope they show up. <laughs> right, is this recording? Hi guys, I don't know how dark it is, but we're at, what is this called, Lakeshore? Lakeshore Tennis Court, whatever. Like, like, it's, a, it's a park, and we're right next to Lakeshore Drive, and I found out earlier this evening that all the squirtles are showing up in this area, so we were like, okay, we're, we're gonna go drive out, and so far we've seen four or six, I only caught one out of the two Wait, that I've seen. I only seen. saw one squirtle. Those guys in the back. We're oh. catching them, so it's probably the same one. But after here, we're gonna go up to Humboldt Park because they said that the Pikachus are there. So we're we're walking around. They have like a little track here because we want our eggs to hatch. Edna was so lucky because her egg hatched today, and it was Bulbasaur. <laughs> and a few yeah, days I ago, just jog what do you for have like now? five kilometers? How much is that? I don't know. It's like two miles now. I think so, but she named her well, Squirtle three miles, Bulbasaur. Three miles? Yeah, five kilometers. Oh my god, what is that? Hold on. What is this? What is what? Oh no, it's a... It's a Pokestop. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. Oh my god, it's a Pokestop, man. It is. But we need more Squirtles. There's a Jigglypuff here. I caught you one. I know, thank you. Alright, that's oh it. God, it's so big, it's so oh my god. No, nothing yet. All right. All right, guys, we are inside the 2016 Mazda 6 Grand Touring. This is my first Mazda 6. I think I drove the Mazda 3, but I think I drove the Mazda 6. Hmm. Last year, no, that was also the three. But this is very interesting because once I start the car, something up here is gonna pull up. So let me do that. Oh, shoot. All right, guys, really quick. Let's see what the weather is. I know it's gonna be really, really bad today because the forecast was going to be like in the upper 90s but it will feel like 100 see excessive heat warning until 7 p.m index readings of 100 to 108 parked outside so i'm literally cooking right now so i'm gonna turn on the ac we might put it to 70 so it's dual but you could also adjust it here on your own this has heated seating which is great during the winter time but right now love to have a cooling system but mind you guys this is the the grand touring so this is the top of the top of the line when it comes to Mazda I'm gonna adjust this oh hi guys because I am a shorty you can't see I didn't get to look at it as much because it was really really hot but this has the dual leather like the two-tone but Again, there's that red little maroon color <laughs> that's always common with Mazda. I love that. It's like a tiny touch when it comes to their cars. There's a pokey stop right by us. And people are coming from everywhere because it's, it's like right at the corner. All right, I think the server's down again. It's not loading, but it's all right. So, I'm gonna run to the post office. I have a bunch of orders here. This is the last of the mystery kits that was gonna go out. Its theme was, the theme for this one was Wonderlust, but it was like pairs to, uh, what is this called? 
Paris to the French Riviera, so it's a little bit tropical and also Parisian all at the same time. I couldn't print out um, my labels because the internet was wonky. Um, Comcast was like having a bad like outage out here for almost two days, so I couldn't print out labels. So that was the biggest issue I had. But I'm going to go drop these off because the cutoff at the post office is at 5.30 and I have to go get my sister. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I just figured before I leave, I will pair my phone. Oh, Pokemon's trying to load. Don't load right now. So what you do is always turn on your Bluetooth. And mine has been on all the time because I have a... Fitbit, so it's already automatically turned on. See, like my Alta and then the previous car that I drove. So, we're gonna go to where do we go? There's a little dial here that you turn. So, we're gonna go to hmm, applications. Let's see, nope, we don't want that. We're gonna go to settings, I believe. I swear, I'm doing something wrong. So we're gonna click back. There's a thing here, I'm gonna click home. So let's see, okay, we're home. Communication, okay, communication. This is where you pair your phone. Would you like to connect? Yes. Very easy. Mazda is one of the easiest car brands that, with when it comes to phone pairing. So I call my phone Raven. Enable. No, we don't need to do that right now. And I think on an audio. Oh, and then we're good. From the music, I am obsessed with this song right now. Let's find it. Um. A song from Selena Gomez and Charlie Puth. Does it play? Nope. Let's see. It should be pairing, but it's playing on my phone. So I'll go to home. Go to music. Why is it not working? Oh, there we go. Heck no. Why? Oh, it's on mute. There we go. I just have it playing from my Apple Music. I'm subscribed to it. So yeah, that's it for pairing the phone. That was really, really easy. Oh my god, I see my sister. So we're gonna creep. We're gonna creep on her. <laughs> you can see, you can see the key. I have to. Alright guys, bye.